is going on everybody so and a very important topic to talk about today is how much you guys can expect to pay for a hellcat this topic is, uh can obviously go everywhere uh there's a lot of different opinions about it there's a lot of different numbers there's a lot of different figures okay not everybody's situation is going to be the same but i'm not going to be talking about how much you can go and buy physically a, a hellcat for because depending on the model if it's new if it's used where you're located all that stuff's going to be different i'm going to be talking about all the fees and the things you have to pay after you have already acquired the hellcat if that makes sense uh, so i've had this hellcat i want to say now for about a month and a half now and honestly i have no complaints with it uh it has 38,000 miles now to 2016 uh, I haven't had a ticket into the shop, knock on wood, uh, for anything. So that is one good thing. Now, one thing that I would uh, recommend you guys trying, depending on your price range and what you want to try to do, whatever your plans are. If you're able to do this, I would definitely recommend it. Basically, I would try to find a Hellcat uh, before you purchase it uh, with uh, uh, some kind of factory warranty. Now, you might be thinking, okay, Dante, this is a 2016 Hellcat. What kind of warranty does it have? See, Dodge offers... A five year okay five year or 60,000 mile warranty or 50,000 mile warranty one of the two I forget 50,000 or 60 miles but it's definitely five years um and and with that uh it covers uh the powertrain okay so the engine the trans you know what I'm saying the the big components the things that if something goes wrong it's going to cost you the most amount of money to fix okay so with this a car obviously it's way under the miles but when it says five years what dodge does is they go off of five years from the day that it was first purchased okay so this car was first purchased i want to say middle of june so i only have about uh less than a month now a few weeks with my warranty still crazy right so what my plan is, is I'm going to be taking it in to the Dodge dealership very soon, very, very soon, and uh, getting everything checked uh, that's under warranty, like the drivetrain, the engine, you know what I'm saying, the trans, the supercharger, make sure everything is good to go, you know what I'm saying, just so I have a peace of mind, and if anything is wrong with them, it's under warranty, so they replace it for free. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to utilize that so I'm not spending that kind of money out of my pocket. Not saying that there anything anything is wrong with the car, but it's really just in case. Okay, guys, so let's talk about the next thing. Let's talk about insurance, okay? So, I'm not going to obviously go into the specific numbers itself for insurance because everybody's insurance is different. But I can give you guys a definitely a good estimate. Oh, I got the dog here in my chin. Definitely can give you guys a good estimate. Uh, so basically, uh, I'm only 22 years old. So any car I have is going to be more expensive for insurance than what the majority of people would be paying. I'm just going to keep it real with you guys, especially the cars I have. Like, of course, my insurance is going to be more. You know what I'm saying? Like, 22 and a Hellcat. Like, yes, my insurance is my insurance is obviously not bad but i mean it's higher than it, than it could be so uh more or less uh for my insurance these guys helps you at all when uh i went from the scat pack to the uh hellcat which i have now my insurance went up about 50 40 50 dollars a month from the scat to the hellcat and i believe from the rt to the scat pack was about uh, a $50 increase from the RT to the SCAT. So from the RT to the Hellcat, talking about like an $80, ooh, an $80 $90 a month difference, okay? Now, what plays into my favor and that I use to my advantage is that I have multiple vehicles. Anybody with multiple vehicles within car insurance knows this is a little hack. If you have multiple vehicles, right, They uh, there's... Depending on your insurance company, they have uh, multiple vehicle discounts. So by me having multiple vehicles, I save money a month, you know what I'm saying, for insurance just because I have multiple cars, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So I'm spending more because of my aid, but I'm saving more, you know what I'm saying, because I have multiple vehicles. <sniffs> Gotta find ways around things, people. Gotta find things, uh, ways around things. So, uh, yeah, honestly, insurance isn't terrible, especially for me being 22. Anybody that's older... Uh, insurance honestly shouldn't be that bad if your driving record's not that bad. Honestly, my driving record is clean. Uh, I only got one ticket. Yep, one ticket. And that was like two, three months ago when I was shopping for the Hellcat. I was on my way to, uh, Jersey 
or no, New York. I was in Jersey all my way to New York and I got pulled over. Uh, officer pulled me over, said I was going uh, uh, 95 or 96 in a 65. Yeah, so uh, 30 over. <laughs> but uh, when I, I took it to court or whatever and uh, I got it reduced to four over the speed limit. So I was going 69 in a 64. I mean, 69 in a 65. So not bad at all. Uh, but yeah, that's honestly the only thing that's all my record. So, I mean, my record's not that bad, you know what I'm saying? So, what I'm paying is kind of, if your record's not that bad, then you know what I'm saying? You're my age and you should be paying around the same. But, uh, yeah, I honestly couldn't even tell you guys the exact amount that I pay for the Hellcat because with having multiple vehicles, everything is grouped as one price. So, it's not like a breakdown of like, oh, it's this much for this vehicle, this much for this vehicle, this much for this vehicle. Even though there probably is some kind of breakdown, I don't have those numbers with me. I only know the total price I pay for everything, you know what I'm saying? But I could tell you guys the difference, how the price changed as I was getting different vehicles. Uh but yeah, that is one thing. That is uh, that is how much uh, the insurance is. That is something you definitely need to look into uh, before you get a Hellcat. So the second thing that I feel like you guys really need to take into account when you're buying a Hellcat is the gas prices. Okay. Now I'm not honestly just saying that like like it's 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 real. Okay. Like legit, you drive your Hellcat. How I drive my Hellcat, I'm at the gas station once or twice a day. But okay, so my but my thing is this, okay? I'm at the gas station once or twice a day, but I will always fill up my gas tank when it's uh when it gets to the halfway mark. I don't like it going below the halfway and getting towards E. I don't like being at anywhere near E. So I always fill my tank up when it gets to the the halfway mark. So that's really why I'm, I'm at the gas station every day because I basically it's like a half a tank uh, a day in gas and I drive. I mean, I drive moderately kind of a lot i don't know i mean i just like to drive in general so i mean it is what it is you got to pay to play but uh yeah so when let's talk about the uh the dealerships uh ratings for the gas okay in the different models because they're a hundred percent inaccurate a hundred and ten percent inaccurate guys so with the rt and the scat and the hellcat they all have similarly similar gas mileage ratings okay but they're not that somewhere at all okay so from the rt to the to the scat i definitely got i want to say like three four miles uh less per gallon than you know what i'm saying than what i was getting the rt and the rt was fully tuned catless everything okay and then the scat was bone stock okay and i was still getting a lot worse gas mileage and it's only rated for like one or two miles per gallon less and i'm saying city highway the scat is to the rt so you know what i'm saying and then from the scat to the hellcat oh my god it's honestly about four five miles per gallon difference i'm talking about my average miles per gallon guys if you guys uh, don't know i'm talking about the average so the city and the highway driving combined i get about four or five gallons less per mile uh, four or five gallon four or five miles less per gallon of of gas okay in the hellcat compared to the scat pack um so yeah that is a big thing you guys need to uh like consider i mean honestly i don't even i couldn't even tell you guys how much i pay for gas like i don't even look at gas as like a bill that like i have to like oh put money on the side to make sure i have 20 dollars for gas here like literally anytime i need gas i go get gas like i don't even factor it in you know what i'm saying to my bills and stuff like that like it, it's gas like what am i gonna do not drive you know what i'm saying like it don't make no sense, but yeah, so gas is definitely one thing that uh, you want to be weary of, especially if you're stretching to get a Hellcat and, you know what I'm saying, you think your money's going to be tight, like, there's a lot more costs that come with the car more than just what the car it is itself. Lastly, guys, I'm just going to give my opinion on if I really think it's worth uh, buying a Hellcat for the price. So, being in the market how I was, like, about a month or two ago, I was searching high and low, near and far, literally everywhere for a Hellcat. I was looking everywhere, anywhere, at every like multiple times a day. Like I legit, I I kid you guys not. I was probably looking like trying to find locate a Hellcat at least two hours every single day, every single day. Literally reloading apps, reseeing this, seeing what's newly listed. Literally like on top of everything, just looking for the right Hellcat. Okay, so. I know a little bit about the market, at least what it was a month or two ago. Things have changed a little bit now, but for the most part, things, you know what I'm saying, are relatively the same. How the market is right now, guys, I'm explaining to you because I'm in the market right now looking for another vehicle that I'm going to be purchasing. 
uh more on that on a different on a different video but um so right now with the market trade-in values are going up okay so if you're going to a dealership and they're offering you the same amount of money that you were offered uh let's say like six months ago okay walk out that dealership just walk out that dealership because right now what's going on is trading values are going up you know what i'm saying but the vehicle prices that you're going to be paying at the dealerships are going to be a little bit higher meaning if you're going to buy a used vehicle there's not going to be a lot of wiggle room whatever the price usually you're going to be able to see like uh, like as advertised is usually going to be the price that you're going to be paying they're not really going to negotiate down any bit but my thing is it works both ways okay if it's if they're going to use that to their advantage then you can use it to your advantage if they're saying the market's why they can't lower the price, okay, the market's why you can't accept a, a penny less than this for your car. You know what I'm saying? It works both ways. Don't let them give you a thousand dollars for your car. You know what I'm saying? Knowing it's worth like six or seven thousand dollars, and then pay the asking price for their vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Because you're just putting yourself in a situation you don't need to be in. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm not gonna go too far into that. But nonetheless, uh, with the market right now, that is how it is. Uh, trading values are going up, but the prices you're gonna be paying for the vehicles are also going to be a, a little bit higher. Um, one thing I did notice is there's not a lot of uh, Hellcats, uh, used Hellcats on the market right now. People are snatching them up quick. Summer is the time to have it, and it's summer is coming up. So that's why a lot of people are obviously buying the used ones up, and that's why the prices for them are going up. Honestly, in my personal opinion, I feel like the prices for Hellcats are going to go down once the summer starts coming to an end and winter is approaching us because, you know what I'm saying, nobody's going to want to go buy a Hellcat. I mean, honestly, I would still go buy a Hellcat, you know what I'm saying, for winter, but that's just me. Most majority of people that live in snow areas and stuff like that they're not going to go buy a hellcat uh right before winter comes up you know what i'm saying so the prices should go down a little bit uh if you were waiting so yeah that is that is some advice i would give you guys so yeah guys i hope that uh explained everything cleared some things up uh answered you guys questions if, honestly if you guys have any other questions i didn't cover you know what i'm saying because I can't answer questions that you guys have if I don't know the questions you guys have, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't mind making videos of, like, specific questions people ask me. I just got to know those questions, all right? So if you guys want to know anything about the Hellcat or, you know what I'm saying, what I do or literally just, just anything, you know what I'm saying? Just, just ask, comment or, you know what I'm saying, DM me on IG or whatever, like... I'm open, like, I don't, I don't mind, you know what I'm saying, like, explaining or helping people, you know what I'm saying, making videos, because, like, the, uh, what I've noticed is this, going through life, okay, so, I'm only 22, but a lot of, I haven't had a lot of experience with a lot of things, you know what I'm saying, because my age, I'm just, you know what I'm saying, just not at the age to have experience with a lot of things I need to have experience with, so, what I don't know, okay, what I figured out is what I don't know, someone else does okay so use your resources if you have a question about something don't be scared to ask somebody that's already dealt with it you know what i'm saying i have a lot of mentors and stuff in my life i want to be where i am in my life you know i'm saying if i didn't have people to go to to ask for advice you know what i'm saying to kind of see what their history was see what they did see how they responded see how they acted you know what i'm saying see what their moves were you know what i'm saying so use your help that you have available use your resources okay so if you guys have a question about a hellcat you know what i'm saying definitely like don't be scared to ask me about the hellcat Okay. It can end up saving you a couple thousand dollars down the line, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I I like saving people money, you know what I'm saying? I like saving money myself, so I like saving other people money also. But uh yeah, guys, nonetheless, I hope this video uh answered some of your questions and kind of put into reality there is more costs that come with the Hellcat than the price of the car itself. I didn't even talk about my monthly payment or nothing. My monthly payment is not even obviously that bad. My monthly payment for the Hellcat, for this Hellcat is actually less than my monthly payment was when I walked out the dealership with the scat pack. Think about that. New video coming soon, though, guys. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. Subscribe, like, share to the next one.